Yo guys, it's Tyrant, and since I'm going to be playing Jury in SF6, I thought it would be nice to put together a little day one combo guide to get you started with the game. Let's go. Her light confirms are pretty basic, and heavy DP seems to link from pretty much any range in this game, which is nice. Jury's store management system is back, but it's a bit more lenient in SF6. You usually want to end your combos with heavy Fuha so you can combo into DP or other follow ups. You can't do this from light buttons, but you can do it from stand medium kick, which combos from stand light punch. If you ever don't have the stores required for combos, you can always use the EX or OD versions of her special moves to get similar follow-ups. Bear in mind this could be risky as it uses drive gauge and obviously you want to hold onto that for other mechanics in the game. Like SF5, one of Jury's best pokes is stand medium kick. You can cancel the first hit and buffer it into special moves and get potential follow-ups. Bearing in mind not all of them will combo from max range. Jury's forward heavy punch is an amazing tool, and with the second hit being cancelable, you can get some easy hit confirms here for massive damage. SF6's scaling can be a bit heavy though, so try not to extend combos too much. Stand heavy punch has great range and is good to buffer as well. You can convert from heavy Fuha into any of her supers. Usually from a cross up, you just want to do one of her basic BNBs. Regardless of its heavy scaling, Jury is fortunate enough to have Drive Rush Stand Light Punch combo into Crouching Heavy Punch. This opens up extra damage opportunities which some characters don't have. Having one of the scariest raw Drive Rushes in the game, Jury also gets decent damage from Drive Rush Lows. This can be very scary and I think it's going to be a big part of her game plan in SF6. Drive Rush from Crouching Medium Kick has extremely high scaling, but it's still an amazing tool for Jury due to the amazing range this button has. Use these combos sparingly though, because 3 bars is a pretty heavy price. She can also get some pretty mean extensions from her Drive Rush overhead on hit. Mix this up with her Drive Rush low to really mix up your opponent, and of course, going for big damage extensions like the one at the end here can be very risky in this game. So if you're going for the kill, great. If not, maybe don't go for the flashy stuff. Drive Impact Wall Splat, you usually want to go for this basic combo here. You can also convert from her lights into EX Fireball for a DP Ender for a little extra damage. Counter hit standing light punch links into stand medium punch, and you can get some basic BNBs as you see here. Counter hit stand medium links into crouch medium kick, and counter hit overhead links into crouch light punch. A nice fast punish counter combo from stand light punch links into crouch heavy punch. Standing Heavy Kick has pretty good range, but combo into Heavy DP is range specific. Level 1 Super seems a lot more consistent though. When you have a bit more time to punish, Stand Medium Punch, Stand Heavy Punch seems consistent at any range. If you're really ready, you can use Punish Counter, Drive Rush, Crouch Heavy Punch to get two of them in the same combo and really dish out the damage. Just look how much this resource dump combo does into CA. Now that's kind of crazy. Jury's dive kick from SF4 is back and you can use the EX version then the kick follow up to get extensions like this. You can use drive rush to tack on a little bit more damage if you need to go for the kill. You can also use it in conjunction with her jump medium punch during block strings to really mix up your opponent and put them into fuzzy guard situations. When spaced correctly, her level 1 dive kick also combos into level 1 super. I'm probably going to make another video about her Feng Shui engine which is her level 2 super because it's pretty complicated and there's a lot to go over. So I hope you guys understand. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.